I'm here. <laughs> We're in the one physical spot. What's going on? Buddy, it's happening. How you, you know, doing, man? Dude, How you doing? Oh, I'm so happy to be here, man. Yeah. How good is this? This is pretty good. This we actually get good. to do a reaction together. A reaction in person. We're pretty stoked about this one. We really, really are. Uh, so for those who don't know, uh, this is going out after Jimna, but uh, Kyle is going to be attending Jimna, which is only like an hour and a half, two hours from my house. So he stopped in on the way through. And we got a reaction for you guys. We got a real so special one. Uh, we have a reaction to this brand new song from everyone's favorite masked Brisbane band, Disgust. Uh, these boys have done a bunch of Aussie tours in the last few years, despite COVID and all of that shit. They are kicking absolute fucking goals. So oh, that's us done for the YouTube stuff. We said fuck too soon. Ah. Ah, fuck them. <laughs> All right. Uh, my microphone keeps falling down. We're we'll get that sorted. We're here for the music, Yeah, baby. absolutely, absolutely. So, uh, yeah. So, this is a brand new song from Disgust called Never Have I Ever. And we're just going to get so, fucking stuck into it. Let's fucking go. Yeah, Amateur hour over I've here. I've been seeing so many posts about this and just clips. I've been yeah. dying to see it. Yeah. So, it's really, really good. It's coming out on uh, May 5th. So, it's coming out real, real soon. Well, it'll be out by the time you guys see, see this. this. <laughs> That's all right. Doesn't matter. Leave it in. Leave it in. Fuck it. All right. Here we go. Let's just switch over to that one and get it going. Oh, Kane, all right. Kane here we Kane. are. Here we are. Let's fucking go. Very professional with yeah. all the things. Oh. Yep. Howdy, do it right. Oh. Okay, no, no, that, that fucking dick tease, that like leaving you hanging for a second right there, I love that. Really, really good. Yeah. How beefy is that tone though? Man. That fucking... It sets, I have a feeling that intro is going to set up for the rest of the song. Oh, for sure. For very, sure. very well. And like, yeah, that, that's such a beefy sound and then it's just cut completely. I really like that. That dynamic is important. The bounciness of that combined with the oh. intensity on the drums. That's that. Okay. We talk about, we've talked about it before and I've seen posts about it online. The new metal renaissance is real. It's coming okay? back, baby. New metal is on the fucking rise. This shit is happening. So if you were a new metal person from fucking back in the day, you're going to be real happy with the way metal's going for the next several years. I tell you right now. Welcome to our life. It's been absolutely. We've lived that new metal life, our whole fucking lives. Uh, but this shit's coming back. So go jo back and do that bit again. Jorts and, and uh, <laughs> jorts and fucking backwards baseball caps and oh, baggy shirts dude, are fucking. We're fashionable back. again. Yeah, absolutely. It's happened. It's finally happened. The, the cycle has come around, right? I just don't need to change. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, bones with the uh, the knives and neon strings. I like. Okay, so this is something that we've talked about before. Is uh, shit that's referred to as ear candy yeah we we're actually having so a like, chat about that five minutes ago five minutes ago right like the little stuff that goes in the song or like just underneath really subtly that's not the main instruments in the band so you could hear there there's that little synth doing the like that is way like way more people need to implement little subtle things like that because they add a lot of complexity and to the mix of a song and they just increase the amount of interesting things to, to put your focus on in the soundscape without being particularly drastic mm. in and of themselves and it makes re-listening a lot better because you actually pick up more on the way through yeah yeah definitely on more re-listens and those bits there where the bass cuts out yeah the guitar cuts out yeah. 
T-shirt. Someone put on a T-shirt. <laughs> so, well, this is what we've talked about as well, right? Like, these guys are up there on stage in masks and, like, long sleeves and everything and jackets in fucking Queensland weather, which in summer is, like... Dedication, boys. Fucking bullshit. It is absolute fucking Ooh. props for that. I was saying, yeah, I really dig... I just want to say, like, the bits where everything keeps going, like, drums and the bass and everything keeps pushing but the guitars are like dropping out for those brief sections. Yeah. Again, that's about dynamics. It's about creating interesting changes in the song that are going to keep, stop you from tuning out because you're just hearing the same thing over and over again. One thing I will say about it's like, they've gone, what do we like about heavy metal? Let's just do every single bit we can in this song. Yeah. There's been thrash, there's been new metal, there's been the chunky hardcore breakdown so far and we're only a minute 24 into the song. Yeah. Like, like this dynamic is, is an understatement for what this song is. And the the production, oh. the production values on this, like, boys, y'all did good. Yeah. Y'all did real fucking good. Like, one, one, and another thing I'll say, this band is one, if you go back and listen to the early stuff up until now, improvement, 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 yeah. improvement, improvement. Constantly. It's just... Hustling, grinding, always working to improve. Longevity. Like, they are, yeah. If you haven't been paying attention to Disgust. You really got to. You really should. And don't do that whole thing, oh, they're trying to be slipping on the head, put on the mask. Don't worry about that. If you're going to be like that, you're a dick firstly. Yeah. Secondly, just listen to... List just listen to how good this shit is, right? And the thing is, I don't... I mean, I'm not familiar with other states necessarily, but I know that in Brisbane at the moment, there's th at least three masked bands, all with a bit of new metal vibe about them, and but they're all unique as well. They're all That's doing good. something a bit different. Which is really, really cool. And that's just, if that's not a sign that it's coming back around again, I don't know what is, um, you know. So let's let's keep going anyway. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the fucking, oh, the windbreakers and the jackets and everything on stage, you must be like soup afterwards. Yeah. I've never seen that guitar. I just, I know we're doing tons of stopping, but that's what we're here for, right? We're reacting, we're giving yeah. our thoughts and analysis on this, you know. Punctuating the lyrics oh. with kick and like intense drum stuff is some secret sauce right there. Don't do it all the time. You don't, you can't do it all the time, but when it's utilized sparingly and, and properly like it was there, it really just drives that impact. And if you pay attention for it, you will hear it in a lot of metal songs that have like those very kind of intense super intense parts like that you will hear it and you won't be able to unhear it yeah, so the statements <laughs> you can either love or hate me for that but thank you here you go <laughs> the um suitcase from pulp fiction yeah, yeah. <laughs> no one knows what's here Love that. that. I want to hear that again. I want to hear that again. Those little guitar bits. That's the ear candy that yeah. Raph was talking about. Oh, that was but real like, good ear candy. That, that, oh, that like almost like breakdown kind of there. That was Jesus. That's 
worthy of a blast if I ever heard one. Oh, That siren sound in the background that just mm, sort of goes with mm. it. They've really the production, whoever that produced this with with disgust. Yeah, absolutely yeah. phenomenal. Ten Knocked out it out of the fucking park. I said it before. I'll say it again. This is just like the production on this is insane. <laughs> That means something big. Is this gonna blow us away? Goosebumps. 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 Yeah. Oh, bro. Oh. Slow down, getting slow, slower. Oh, the reverb on that was nice. Oh, I need to go back. Wait, I need to. Go oh, yeah, I want to hear that bit again too. That like breakdown, slow down to end the song. Oh. Breakdowns like that are a fucking venue owner's worst nightmare. That's when the room gets split. Yeah, Here's wall where of the death. Room gets split. <laughs> <laughs> Tone. I can't wait to see Lance this weekend. <laughs> That's so tasty. God damn. Fuck. Wow. What the fuck? That's fucking incredible. That's so good. I'm blown away by that. That's going on rotation in the fucking car as soon as that Hurry comes out. Hurry up and bring out. it out, boys. Yes. Hurry up and bring it out, yes. please. Well, if you're watching this, it'll be it'll out be already. Out. It'll be out. We're waiting. Going. We're waiting. We gotta wait. We gotta. I mean, I suppose we can just go back and watch yeah, the video. Yeah, no, really, we should only do it once. <laughs> we should only do it the once. But uh, holy shit, like guys, that was fucking incredible. That was a piece. Uh, was... Go and put it on your fucking playlist right now if you haven't already. Uh, go and follow Disgust on all their social medias. They are really fucking putting the work in. They're fucking busting their asses and they deserve to get your attention. So. And they put on one hell of a show if they you go see them live. Absolutely they put do. on one hell of a show. They absolutely do. And super nice guys too. Super nice. We had Bo on the podcast a while back. And uh, I mean, if you're seeing this, I think we may have discussed on the podcast coming up towards the end of May at some point. So that'll be really cool. Looking forward to it, especially after that. I can't oh, wait to talk all about that. So that many was fucking questions. incredible. Everything about that was just so... Night, nicely controlled dialed right in works really well together the it, the it's, style it's, of the film clip the sound of the production everything was super tight yeah. so that was really really good incredible effort there boys cannot wait to see you and cannot wait to uh have this song in regular rotation on the playlist that was a metalhead's wet dream that was that was so that's it from us uh we're out now this motherfucker's gonna get back on the road and keep heading his way up to Jimna. Yep. if you're seeing this it's after Jimna, so Hopefully you met him and said hi. If not, 
I don't know. Follow us on the socials. Jump in the comments. We do... Like uh, and subscribe. Like and subscribe. We do streams every Thursday night on Twitch. Two Dudes Talk Music with the number two instead of the word two. And uh, yeah, come along. Have it. Hang out with us. Watch us. Uh, if you can't watch us live on Twitch, we do put them on YouTube afterwards and on podcast streams. But yeah, thank you so much for taking the time and watching this one with us, boys. That was uh, pretty fun, man. I reckon, we should, I reckon we should try and do this again. That we'll, was good, we'll yeah. To, every time we, one of us come up, we'll yeah. have to try and do it for your reactions. Try and do some reactions together when we're uh, when we're in the same space. That's good. I like the interaction there. That's really awesome. That was good. All right. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for watching. That was discussed. Never have I ever. Peace <sighs> out.